Next question is from Fabulous Hudson Hornet. What are important lifts or movements that manual laborers should focus on to prevent injury? Yeah, so this is, okay, obviously it depends on the individual. Every individual is a little different. So what I would what recommend to one person- What kind of job you're doing? Well, yeah. I have one right away though. I think that you, sh I think rotational stuff. Yeah. I think I'm, if you're in manual labor where you're say, lifting yeah. heavy things, and it doesn't even matter like what types of heavy things that you're, where I see it or where I saw injuries in clients, was always doing something rotate, almost always doing something rotate. Low back injuries yes. dominate, and it, never, it doesn't take a lot of weight. So you could literally be somebody who works at like FedEx, and you're just putting some boxes that mm -hmm. are all under twenty or thirty pounds. But because you're moving dynamically, or you twist and turn a certain way, it, and because you haven't strengthened right. that rot that rotational movement, it doesn't take much to hurt yourself. I was going to add to that. Yeah, core strength uh, is is a big component to that because uh, I mean, a lot of uh, these these sort of habits that uh, make you efficient at your job. Like a lot of times uh, you don't consciously think about lifting anymore. You just kind of get in the movement and the momentum of it mm -hmm. uh, and relax the core while you're doing these things where, you know, we strengthen our core and make sure that everything's protected. It'll help to eliminate the back pains and it'll help you to, um, you know, be more effective and have more, um, you know, longevity in your job. Yeah. Well. There's three things I want to say about this because uh, almost 90% of my family, does this kind of work and I grew up around it and you would see this all the time and back pain is by far the most common issue that these people were into. There's knee stuff and shoulder stuff, but back pain is yeah. dominant. So core stability, work on core stability. Here's a second one, reduce visceral body fat. Okay. So visceral body fat is the body fat that's underneath muscle. And in men, oftentimes what you'll see is they'll get a belly, but it's hard. You ever have like an uncle or someone joke with you? Like, oh, you got a big belly. Yeah, but touch it. It's really hard. Yeah, I used to punch my uncle in the stomach. Yeah, the that's because body fat's underneath the muscle pushing it out. So the muscle's on top, so it feels hard. So what does this have to do with back problems? When the muscle's being pushed out, it's now being stretched and it loses its ability to stabilize the spine. So if you have a lot of visceral body fat, you start to lose, just like a pregnant woman, when the baby is pushing out the abs and the core, they lose core stability and they start to rely a lot on their hip flexors and a lot on their QL. And these muscles start to, you know, have problems and they start to, you know, get back pain. So those those two things are really, really, uh, really important, I would say. Uh, along those lines, I would add then actually incorporating good hip, hip mobility because many times a lot of that low back pain comes from the inability to rotate and move the hips through yeah. its full range of motion. And so what ends up happening is those low back muscles overcompensate for mm -hmm. movements and then you strain it or it's just, it's it's not, you maybe don't hurt it, but then my low back is just, oh, all day it's on fire because it's taking more of the load because your hips aren't being, aren't, aren't able to take now, that. The third thing I wanted to add to this was, and you see this a lot in, well, not a lot, but you see it often with manual laborers is that they'll wear like uh, back support and it almost, it's like a weight belt. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, it'll have the suspenders coming down it goes around the, you'll see it at Home Depot with some of the workers. And what it does is it, it compresses the midsection and creates some more core stability through outside forces. Here's why that's a bad idea. Even though wearing one probably feels great. You probably put it on, you're like, oh my God, my back doesn't hurt anymore. I'm going to keep wearing this. As your body depends on that, you start to lose strength in your core, making it more susceptible to injury. Not only that, but the way the core stabilizes with an outside device like that, this is true for weight belts as well, as your core pushes out to brace against it. So now it starts to change its recruitment pattern. What does mm -hmm. that mean? You take that belt off. Then you go do some work in the backyard. Don't put your belt on or go play with your kids. And you're actually more, yeah. you're, you're more likely to hurt yourself now. So don't wear those as a way to protect yourself, strengthen your core the old fashioned way. So let's be even more specific. So each of us, two exercises, mm. two exercises I give, to, generally speaking, I give this, I'm going to give this person. Yeah. So I, my two I'm going to pick is I'm going to pick the Turkish get up mm. and then I'll, I'm going to pick a single dumbbell row. So a single dumbbell row with emphasis on the the pulling it all the way back and actually ro rotating in that in that movement. So those uh, are my two. Yeah, I would say like cable chops, you know, for that added rotation, and then also like decline sit ups to just work on the core in general and the abs. Yeah, I would do a plank the right way, right, with the pelvic so uh, like pelvis an active tilted, plank. A, active plank, or just a, even a stabilizing plank. 
and then maybe a, a counter rotation with the cable. So you're standing and then you extend your arm so it increases the tension mm -hmm. and then bring it back to, to create that kind of counter rotation stabilization. But the, the plank one was the one I did most often mm -hmm. uh, with family members and I would modify it. They would do it off their knees or up on a desk to get started. And that really made a big difference. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.